another story about uh, about me and my wife. Now, I wrote this in November of November of two thousand nine, and I never published it uh, un until just recently. Like like uh, maybe uh, let's see if I'm doing the math right here. It looks like it wasn't published until like uh, the end of two thousand eleven. Um, and uh, it is called "In Which My Wife Is Nerd Adjacent." <laughs> <laughs> we have a mixed marriage. Right? <laughs> Nerd and normal. It's great. <laughs> Hey, I said to Ann while we stood in the kitchen the other night, remember that song from Avenue Q, The Internet is for Porn? <laughs> she, made, she made a gruff Muppet voice and sang part of the song. The Internet is for Porn. The Internet is for Porn. Porn, porn, porn. <laughs> she stirred whatever was on the stove and said, that song? Yes, I said, that song. I put my hands in my pockets and I leaned back on my heels. Striking my very famous, I am so very proud of what I am about to tell you. <laughs> here, let me come over here and show you what it looks like. <laughs> I ordered a t-shirt from the internet, I said, and it says, the holodeck is for porn. <laughs> I waited for Anne to join my laughter. <laughs> At first, all she did was blink. <laughs> then she frowned like she was trying to solve a puzzle. <laughs> Which I guess, kind of, she was. <laughs> Finally, she cocked her head to one side, looked at me like I had spoken in some foreign language, which I guess I had, and said, um, what? <laughs> Uh, you know the holodeck is from Star Trek, right? No, I said that wrong, sorry. I should have stayed on the script. I've ruined the scene. Let's back up. Time machine. <laughs> <laughs> she looked at me like I had spoke. Listen, we're going to edit this. It's going to be great. <laughs> Note for the editors, it's at uh, 6.32 that we need to back it up to about 6.31. <laughs> she cocked her head to one side and looked at me like I had spoken in some foreign language, which I guess I had. You, uh, you don't know what the holodeck is, do you? <laughs> I know that it's from Star Trek. <laughs> I told her what the holodeck does. That works. Doing my best not to speak in a high geek language. <laughs> which, as it turns out, is very difficult to do when you're describing the primary functions and inner workings of the holodeck. <laughs> so you see, I concluded, <laughs> if the holodeck was real, everybody would use it for a <laughs> that is why the t-shirt is so funny! <laughs> If that joke eel had existed then, I would have turned into him. <laughs> conversation we have ever had on the holiday. <laughs> yeah, she said. I don't know how we managed. 